Hi guys, John Hans Connect here. I'm here to review a new solder paste that I just purchased. Uh, my old paste was a little over a year old and uh, it's a lead-free uh, solder paste from Chipquick. Uh, I'll put the part numbers up on the site. The new uh, paste, I was going to reorder the same paste, but I ordered the new paste and it comes with a thermally stable flux that's uh, synthetic. Uh, both of these are the same exact uh, lead-free uh, metal composition. Um, and so what I did was I soldered, I, I put paste on one board, this is my old paste, and then I did two boards with the new paste. And here up on my ADSM 201 microscope you can see this is the old paste. You can see there's a lot of extra beads of solder that were not drawn in. And we got a little bit of crustiness here. Now let me roll the polarization on the ADSM 201. Um, you can see as I roll through, it's very crusty. Um, move over to the new board. It's the same exact area. You see this is a nice round uh, ball. There's very little crust. Anyway, love the new paste. Uh, moral of the story, do not let your paste get more than a year old. And there it is. So yeah, I can recommend the new TS391 LT250 from Chipquick. These all went through the same exact profile. All right, bye.